And thanks for joining us. Uh, we got all the ingredients together. Now we're just folding it. There's a lot of folding and doing, you know, there's a lot of doing stuff, especially putting spoons and stuff and putting bags and stuff. And, so we're folding this in, and once you get it all pretty good and consistently mixed, you usually tell. And once you do that, you're going to take your cooking pans. So make sure you have them right out here because it gets a little bit messy here for a little bit. And what we're going to do here, take this, it is plop, just plop, see? And it's, not, it's really, it'll start to smooth out, looking good. Look at that. Look at that. Isn't that good? Isn't that look good? Now, this is really good for parties, for Super Bowl parties, because it's really easy to make, really cheap. It's just really good. And once it gets out of the oven, then you'll see the real magic. It's really good. Now, if you had some, like, let's say you wanted to uh, spice things up, what I would suggest, maybe some uh, nicely fancy shredded cheddar. It melts right on there. We get some sour cream. Yes, you go in. Cool. Get a little halo going. So we got the, one, the first casserole down. Now we'll put this. Luckily, I think this is all going to fit in these three casseroles. I was kind of worried. And once you get those in the oven, you're going to want to set your oven about 15 minutes later, about 15 minutes before they're going to go in, to about 350 degrees. Now, depending on what your oven temp is, you have to, you know. You'll have to adjust it higher or lower. Ours is higher. So, I mean, if you're a lower running oven, you might want to go to 325. But ours is a little lower as far as temp wise and everything else. So, we set a little bit higher. So you got that. The last one here. And make sure you have everything ready when you do it. Make sure you got your bowls and everything ready because if you don't, you let your food sit a bit, especially the macaroni and cheese, it'll be soggy. So we got our oven preheated. That's preheated to about 350, like I said. Keep the casserole in there. Put about probably about 10 or 15 minutes in there, just a little bit, just a little while, and then. And then we'll check out on, you know, since, so, until we come back, thanks. Hey, thanks for joining Joe Reagan for another quick tip. Now make sure she's not under a period before you give her oral sex.